Let's talk about long COVID, or otherwise known as post-COVID syndrome or post-acute sequela of SARS-CoV-2. Here in the UK, we have an estimated 1.3 million people with persisting symptoms over four weeks or even 12 weeks and onwards. And while we have about 80 plus long COVID clinics set up here in the UK, there's an overwhelming sense of not knowing what to do with it. So why is there this lack of clarity on what to do with long COVID? Well, firstly, this is a novel condition. We're sort of very much having to learn as we go. We're having to wait for results from research to come through to guide us on how to treat people effectively. However, is long COVID shining a light on the limitations of our mainstream healthcare system in treating and helping people with post-infectious chronic illness and chronic illness as a whole? We know that long COVID can share similar characteristics to some other chronic illnesses such as mast cell activation syndrome, autoimmunity and chronic fatigue, many of which can also be the result of an infectious trigger. But conventional medicine has really struggled to help people with these types of conditions or even struggled to acknowledge that some of these conditions even exist. And that's because of their often systemic nature, their complex nature, and also being very varied from person to person in their presentation. This all makes these types of conditions a little bit vague, hard to put in a clean cut diagnostic box, it makes it hard, to, hard for us to develop diagnostic criteria, and they often need more than just drug therapy. These types of conditions are heavily influenced by nutrition, lifestyle and environmental factors within that individual person. And what we know from the medical model is not well set up to dedicate the time needed to address those factors and help someone to recover their health. These challenges we see in other chronic illnesses are very, very similar to long COVID. We see the condition manifesting in different ways in different people. The condition is systemic, meaning that it's affecting multiple organs, multiple body systems at the same time. And we also know that lifestyle, nutrition and environmental factors have played a major role in how that individual has responded to this viral encounter. The virus was just the trigger. There is a much bigger picture underlying which must be addressed in the individual and as a society as a whole to help their recovery and health long term.